everyone, welcome to day 29, how to say no to food pushers. Actually, I think it's a funny term and I love it, food pushers, what it is, it's those people that kind of make you uh, fill up the wagon or maybe go off track a little bit. Um, and I want you to start realizing it, that they don't dictate your life and you're in charge and you need to start um, pushing those people away a little bit. So um, there's people in your life, um, you, you can't do anything, like you can't hide yourself in the closet and come back 12 weeks later. Uh, you need to learn how to deal with those people and like those external um, problem or that things that get you on, uh, in your way. So today I want you to, um, actually you need to record your weight today. So it's go back to your chart, write down um, your weight, how, ma how many pounds you lose, you lost uh, or gain. I want you to track it. So that's the first thing I want you to do. And then I want to um, explain you a little bit what's a food pusher. Um, it's the people that urge you to eat something that's not on your plan. And there's three types of food pushers. The first one is the one that are trying to be nice. So let's say like, like my mom actually, uh, just to be nice, she cooks something. Um, do you want to have it? Um, but at the same time, she can't care less if I'm eating it or not. Um, that's just... She's just trying to be nice, but that's it, she won't care. So those are usually easy to deal with. Um, the second one is the people that actually like get offended when you say no. Um, they, want you to, they, you, they want you to come up with an excuse why you're not eating it, why you do that, like I cook this for you. Uh, that could be your life partner, uh, it could be maybe your stepmom uh, or maybe a co-worker or someone that actually get offended because you don't want to eat something. And the third one is um, the people that actually don't want you to succeed. So those are like the toxic people, uh, maybe like a bad relationship, like a friend that's not really a friend, someone that want you want to see you fail. So you need to stay away from those people. So first thing, uh, when people um, ask you ask you to eat something that's not a plan, I will ask you to thank them nicely, but no, thank you. So thanks for offering me this, but no, I'm good, I'm full, I don't want it. Um, that's your first step. Like you need to learn how to say no. And seriously, like 80% of people can't care less. And I like to, com um, to come up uh, with some, well, I usually just say no, but if someone kind of asks and excuses uh, why you're not eating something, you can just answer them like, you know, I'm trying to be more careful or I already ate or I don't really feel for this. Um, you can start having that type of excuses, but there you should be, uh, it should not be a problem to say that. If you start um, feeling some kind of resistance, sometimes I, I get that. Uh, for me, from a work environment or a good friend, you go somewhere, they want, oh, take this, take this. And you feel that even if you say no, they keep pushing. Sometimes it's just worth to just take whatever um, they're offering and just, okay, well, put it in a doggy bag and I'll bring it with, you, with me and eat it later. So that's sometimes a good way to kind of shut them up. And with that Tupperware, you can either plan how you can how you want to eat it later so you can actually plan it like a cheat cheat day or later that day or doesn't really matter but you can plan on having it and um, if not you can just throw it away they won't be there they won't see it so that's another way when you ask it out if you want to get out of it and um, and sometimes I just say well I'm not hungry so but you need to come up with an excuse and stick to it especially if it's something that's totally not worth having like if it's just a meal that you don't really want there's no reason why you should be eating it even if it's your um you feel the people feel make you feel bad about it because think about it if you deviate from your plan you'll feel sick you won't feel like kind of um you know you feel weak you're not happy with yourself so it's not worth it at all 
So I hope this helped a little bit. This is how I deal with my food pushers.